Let's take a look at finding sample size for estimating uh, population proportion P. And that should be capital P there. I'm assuming that's a... <laughs> uh, autocorrect screwed it up, I'm assuming. Okay. Um, now there's two options. P hat's known and P hat's unknown. Specifically in this first uh, example, we're going to use the P hat's known. So let me uh, come over here and um, clean this out. There we go. It says we want to estimate the proportion of students who believe uh, students that believe the moonwalk is actually filmed in a movie studio. What size sample should be used? So that's asking us for sample size. Should be used if we want the estimate to be within five percent. So they're telling us that E is 0.05, and you want to put it in decimal form with 99% confidence. Now when they say 99% confidence, they're telling us, given our picture, that 99% is in the middle. And it says we use a prior estimate of 0.23 from last year. So they're telling us that P hat is equal to 0.23. Whenever they refer to a prior estimate, um, then that's always your P hat. Maybe different words for that, but um, it always means P hat. Now, if 99% is in the middle, that means we're going to split 1% into the tails. So this will be 0 0.005, and this will be 0 0.005. Now, the value we're trying to find is this one right here. That's alpha, so Z alpha divided by 2. And it's always based upon the area to the left. So the area to the left of this is 0 0.005 and 0.99. So area to the left is 0.99. 995. So you have to add them together. Okay. Now our formula where p hat's known is this one right here. So we got n is equal to p hat times 1 minus p hat times z alpha divided by 2 over e squared. Well p hat we know it's 0.23 and this will be 1 minus 0.23. The part that we're going to use the HP prime to get is this Z score here. So let's go uh, find that. Now um, I'm an application library. If you're not there, you can press your apps. Um, you can be, actually be anything. If you're in statistics, one var, it's fine. But we want to click the home button right here. And let me clean these out from the previous problem. There we go. Okay, now, um, and again, it's going to be based upon the area to the left, which is 0.995. We want to push our toolbox, and you want to make sure your math options chose here. If you got like app chose, click your math, and we want to go into probability, so I do 5, I push the number in front of it. We want inverse, so I'll push the number in front of it, 7, and we want the normal, so push 1. And I'm going to tell it 0.995. That's the area to the left of what we're trying to find. And then press enter. <clears throat> now how many decimal places? I have no clue. Uh, two decimal places, three decimal places. What you'll find is that sometimes in books they'll put it to two, sometimes they'll put it to three. It depends upon when you're using the tables in the back, when you're doing it by hand, completely by hand, um, where does it fall exactly? And I'll go with two decimal places here, which would be 2.58. Divide by E, which is 0.05. And let's see what that gives us. So I got 0.23, and then my parentheses, 1 minus 0.23. Right arrow to get out of that parentheses, and do my another set of parentheses. 2.58 divided by 0.05. Right arrow to get out of the parentheses, or out of the fraction. Right arrow one more time to get out of the parentheses, and I'll push my x squared. And then I'll push on enter. Now we always want to round up. So um, no matter what your decimal is, you always go up to the next whole number. So we'll go to 472. And that would be our answer. Now instead of using the rounded off version here, you can embed the function right within where the 2.58 is. And let me show that. So we'll put in 0.23, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25
do my set of parentheses, 1 minus 0.23, right arrow, get out of the parentheses, do another set of parentheses, and now we want this, uh, instead of hard coding 2.58, we're going to put this normal D, I, C, D, F there. So I'll push my toolbox, push 5 for probability, push 7 for inverse, and I'll push 1 for normal. Put in the area to the left, so 0.995. We want to right arrow one time to get it out of that function. <coughs> Excuse me. And then divide by 0.05. Right arrow once to get it out of the fraction. Right arrow one more time to get it out of the parentheses. And then we'll put in our squared. And then we'll press enter. Now notice, we get a slightly different answer. We get 470.01. And to round up, this would be 471. So it's a little bit different than this. This is uh, based upon rounding two decimal places. This is taking the entire value. So this last answer here is actually more accurate than the, the first one. But the first one will be more likely to match a book because, uh, like I said, they'll take it two decimal places or three decimal places, where this one takes it to all the decimal places. Now that's um, finding the sample size given p hat. And to get out of this, you can just simply press your apps button, and I'll take you back to your main menu here.